Hey everybody, this little movie will show you how you as the student can show a PowerPoint to the rest of your class, your peers, in Adobe Connect. Now, here's the thing guys. When you first log in, because, well, some of you will have accounts, but most of you will be logging in as guests. You actually will be initially coming in as a participant, right? The default for someone who is not a room owner is a participant. The room host, your professor, will be under hosts. So this icon, the share my screen, you guys won't initially see that. For you to share a PowerPoint, your professor will promote you. How will that happen? Well, I'll show you. I'm going to promote Grady. I'm going to make Grady a presenter. This is what your professor will do. Your professor will promote you to presenter. As a presenter, you will get this icon. Now, there's a couple different things you can do. I'm going to show you the easiest way to manage this. You're going to want to share your screen to show the PowerPoint. Number one trick, already have the PowerPoint open, okay? Have it sitting up on your desk. There it is, it's open. I have to click on this icon. Don't click on the words, click on the drop down, the little triangle next to it. Share my screen, share desktop, share whiteboard. Okay, whiteboard, no, 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 no. Share document, well, you could. You could share document because think of it this way. Adobe hates Microsoft. They don't get along. So when they say share document, they don't mean a word doc. They mean something visual like a PDF or a PPT. If I do share document, I will look down here. I will need to browse my computer and I can simply upload a PowerPoint. I have 8,000 things on this desktop and not one PowerPoint. Hang on. There, that'll work. All right. Now, guys, here's the problem. This will make your lives the easiest when you're actually presenting. But notice it has to upload. And if you've got a lot of graphics, this can take a while. All right. If you've got a lot of graphics, that is not your best move. If it's just mostly text, on a handful of slides, go ahead and do that. What did I do? Let's do it again. Stop sharing. If your PowerPoint presentation is not graphic heavy, I click on the share my screen, share document, browse my computer, have my PPT somewhere that I can find it so I don't waste everybody's time looking for it like I'm doing right now. And again, you only want to do this if your PowerPoint is not graphics heavy. Look how long this PowerPoint has taken. That's not fair to do to your peers. So option one, if it's not graphics heavy, go ahead and upload it using document. However, let's say like the one I was just trying to upload, it's ridiculously graphics heavy. Instead of doing share document, you're going to want to do share my screen. Why didn't I do share my screen in the first place? I'll show you. Watch what happens when I click share my screen. All right. My Adobe Connect room, okay, my Adobe Connect room hides. It goes down below. Well, that's because it's trying to get out of the way. That's great. Except now I'm going to show you a PowerPoint, and if someone texts, I can't see the text. So I have an option. Notice I'm not in show mode, right? This is where I've got my little slides on the side, and I click through. Well, this is an option. This is actually not a bad option, because if I do it this way, let's make that a little smaller so I can see it better. There we go. What I can do is pull my Adobe Connect room back up, move it to the side. There we go. So if someone texts, I can still see the text. I can talk you through my slides. One, two, three, ABC, best presentation ever. 
and I can answer your questions in the chat. But let's say that I've got great animation I want you guys to see. So I go into slideshow modality. I will not be able to see if anybody texts. So if you have to show it in this modality because you've got really cool graphics, whatever. Just be prepared. Share with your, your peers. Guys, I'm going to go into show modality, so please either use the audio to ask me questions, or if you type something in, I will answer it when I'm done presenting. And then when you're done, your professor will ask you to please stop sharing. And there it is, right in the center of the screen. Stop sharing. And then he or she will probably come back and demote you. Nothing personal. But that way, they can promote the same person. Got it? So you will be promoted from participant to presenter. Then you'll get the icon. You will decide whether you're going to upload as a document. If you do that, please, again... As long as it's not graphic heavy, not a big deal. If it's graphic heavy, don't do it. If it's graphic heavy, do share my screen. And your best bet, share your desktop. Make sure your PowerPoint is already open underneath. And even say, guys, hang on one second. I have to pull my Adobe Connect room up so I can see if you text me. Show it in normal view. Right? You won't get your fancy animation, but it is what it is. Or if you choose to go into show mode, remind everyone, you can go ahead and type, but I won't be able to answer questions in the chat till afterwards. Thank you very much. That's it.